Farmers keep coming back to Governor with AR37. It's the persistent all-rounder. That delivers more growth on the shoulders of the season. And is incredibly tough. Governor from Barrenbrook. Perennial ryegrass you can count on. Yeah, hello, it's a busy day in the skies with the clouds today, with thunderstorms, all sorts of things going on. Take, for instance, the west coast, Lake Bronner here. Greg Boroshevsky, thanks for this. Look at the time now, it's a great start, and then you think, we're going to brighten up, we're going to brighten up, no. And then eventually, with the southwesterly kicking in, boom, you get to the bluer skies and working. And, and for many, go back to the weather maps, it's been the similar sort of thing, with quite active weather as well. Main frontal boundary from last night, southerly down there. Look at the lumps there, showers, thunderstorms from the far north, right the way to Gisborne, even Napier as well, seeing some of them as well. Have a look at some of these shots. This is a shaft of rain moving towards the mount earlier this afternoon and the thunderstorms from last night moving across eastern parts of Auckland. Whenever you see a cow's udder in the cloud, mamatus. That means downward motion. That thunderstorm means business. Those are moving away. Yellow boxes are the severe thunderstorm watches till nine o'clock. They will fade. Southerly there. Wellington, midnight. Boom, it comes through. Up the east coast of the North Island showers. Little finger of an easterly flick to the Western Bay, but high pressure is building and with that we're fine but it's going to be a cooler one some fours some fives to the interior far south as we start off the course of the day just a southwest of flicks in one or two showers kai tire towards fitianga pretty decent day you're thinking where's the cool air well doesn't really get that much but you will have an easterly here by the end of the day and of course noticing that in the coming days auckland a similar sort of thing quietening down for you you've got one or two showers in a southwest of tomorrow in the first part of the day easterly into the afternoon 24 degrees but a lot of decent dry weather into the mix as well. Hamilton 27 for you. Those are just a few showers in the southwest at first. Looking pretty good and as well you'll notice that east to southeast are coming in. You'll certainly see it as well over the Bay of Plenty. Putting the wind arrows in. See how the winds go like that like fish swimming around. That kicks through but it's otherwise early cloud spot of rain. Then you're fine and dry for most of this region through the course of the day. Toronga as well. May have some early cloud. Maybe just a spot of rain on that little easterly flick. Maybe, maybe even by the end of the day. In between you're fine. 27, 28 as you finish off the course of the day. East coast, of course, the southerly moving up the east coast of the North Island brings you some showers here. You'll see those slowly fading through the course of the day as you go into the course of the afternoon. Danny Burke Master only managing 19 or 20. You'll notice that cool wear for sure. We head away further west from New Plymouth down towards Levin. It is just really some early cloud, maybe a spot or two just at first. Cooler feel. Wellington cooler feel. Southerly comes through. You've got 18 degrees tomorrow. That is it. A few showers at first and that southerly could be strong, maybe even touching gale around the exposed spots just in the first part of the day. Te Waipunamu looks like Nils. this Nelson fine, Blenheim fine, Kaikoura rain to start, Westport improving and looking pretty good. And for Christchurch, you have just really leftovers of the southwest of the showers fading, but you still might keep some cloud through the day. It is an improving day, 18 degrees and track away further south as well. You'll see that same sort of thing. West Coast looking good after early cloud, cloud and odd spot of rain, Ashburton, Timaru then improving. Look at things for Queenstown as well. You really just have some morning cloud, but a cooler feel. Notice some of the starting temperatures could be some single figures in the chillier spots like Twizel, Mount Cook. You could be four or five as you start off the day. And the rest of the far south, it's that southwest flow. Cool for some. Milford Sound, lovely day. 22 degrees. These are some showers into the far south. Gore, 14 degrees today. You've got 15 tomorrow. Invercargill, some showers in the mix as well. Dunedin, you could have maybe just some cloud at first. Chatham's really in the really the brunt of that system so you've got the wetter weather through the course today then we get into the end of the week Friday that's going to be cold to the interior far south big area of high pressure that looks pretty good how about the same for Saturday yeah why not sit it in place that is good so that's a decent looking weekend the one change the flow comes around so what is cool to the far south we could be talking upper 20s maybe even 30 to a few spots maybe like Blenheim and to East Sinner is going into the weekend so it's real up and down that is of course the weather but looking pretty decent at the moment for the weekend. Kia ora Dan, thank you very much. And that is One News this Wednesday. Remember, if you're out and about and not at home, you can stream One News live on our website and app. And for more of the latest news, check out our other digital platforms, including Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for being with us this evening. From all the One News team, Paul Marty here. Have a good night. Tonight, four celebrities must work as a team to win.